So let me tell you about the greatest put down I ever gave anyone ever. I was walking to my studio in London. This was a couple of years ago, as a matter of fact. I was fucking 49 years old. Yeah, the greatest put down of my life. Anyway, I'm walking down Chepstow Road to my studio where I used to record my videos. And as I'm walking, I can hear behind me, I'm walking from Westbourne Grove down Chepstow Road, and I can hear behind me this couple. This couple that they're kind of arguing, or more to the point, the woman is arguing. She's a young woman, right? I glance over my shoulder at them because she was talking so loud. That's what drew my attention to her. And she was gorgeous. Oh yeah, she was like blonde, long hair, and she was going with a good looking guy. They must have been, the guy must have been like in his late 20s, maybe 30, right? And she was in her very early 20s. And she was hot, she was hot, hot, right? And she was dressed up really nicely, long blonde hair, and she was bitching at the guy. And you know what she was bitching about? She was comparing herself to him and, and who was richer. Not kidding. Get this, she was saying that he was part of the 1%. Uh, apparently the guy must have been like some sort of banker or something like that, right? He was part of the 1%, but she was part, as she said, of the top 10% of the 1%, or maybe even, she was saying, the 1% of the 1%. I mean, to this day, I have no idea what was going on between the two. I mean, what the fuck was the point of this conversation exactly? And the poor schmuck, the boyfriend, right? He was just like, yeah, yeah, kind of like trying to deflate the conversation, hoping that it would go away. But she kept grinding on about the fact that she was rich, right? Of course, she wasn't rich. Her daddy was rich. But anyway, she was saying she was rich, and but he wasn't as rich as her. I mean, what the fuck is going on, right? Yeah, and here is where I inflicted my put down. They were walking along and they got to their door. I could hear them, I could hear the keys jangling, right? And so I turned around and I looked at the guy and I said to the guy, is that your girlfriend? And he said, yeah. And so I said, get a better one. <laughs> he laughed his ass off, right? Of course, he laughed his ass off and the girl gave me this look, this look of just daggers, right? And I laughed my ass off and just kept on walking, right? I would have paid anything to be a fly on the wall to that conversation that they had. Oh yeah, because the guy, when I said that, he laughed his ass off and then he bit it back. Huh? Oh, I wish I could have been there to hear that conversation between the two of them. Oh, anything to have heard that conversation. Yeah, that girl, typical rich girl. Well, no, not typical rich girl. There are actually two kinds of rich girls, but rich girls, they are a complicated breed. They are a very complicated breed, and unless you've got balls of steel, don't mess with them. Yeah, because they're only gonna cause you trouble. They're, they're gonna cause you misery. Uh, and let me explain why. See, a rich girl, why is she rich? It's because her old man is rich, or maybe she was left a fortune, you know, by some grandparent. But the funny thing is, her family is rich. She herself has not done anything to achieve this wealth, by definition, okay? Some 19-year-old kid who's worth a billion dollars, she didn't do anything to earn that, she got it. She got it from the parents or the family or whoever, right? She's always gotten her way. She's always gotten whatever she's wanted. And the fact of the matter is, since her parents or her family is well off, people always defer to her. Yeah, she's spoiled rotten. She has always gotten her way. People always defer to her. So she thinks that it's because of her, that she is the reason that people think that she's wonderful that she has these inherent qualities that make her wonderful. When in fact, of course, no, it's not her. It's just the money that she has behind her. So of course they're spoiled, yeah? Even the ones who are fairly well adjusted, and I've met a number of such girls, of rich girls who are very well adjusted. In point of fact, some of them are, are cousins of mine and what have you. They are extremely well adjusted and it's usually because the parents kept them on the straight and narrow. Mm -hmm. The parents didn't overindulge them. The parents made sure that the girl understood that the money that was backing her, the family money, well, she hadn't done much to earn it, if anything at all, to earn it. And so they probably put her in her place when she was young and taught her not to be spoiled. That's one kind of rich girl, okay? And the better kind, frankly. But the other kind, oh God, the other kind is like the girl that I told you the story about. Yeah, that girl, the spoiled rotten girl the bitchy, nasty piece of work, that girl. That girl, you can't do anything with her. 
you cannot do anything with her. She's spoiled rotten. Okay. You ever seen like, I don't know, like spoiled the fruit, you know, a spoiled apple or what have you. Can you fix that apple somehow and make it unspoiled? No, you cannot. The only way that a rich girl who's spoiled rotten, who's this total bitch on wheels, the only way she will be unspoiled is if she loses all of her money and goes through misery for two, three, five years and then comes out on the other side a decent human being. Okay? That's the only time that that will ever happen. Okay? Most rich girls who are spoiled when they're young, they're spoiled for life. You cannot do anything with them and you should not involve yourselves with them Never, never. It's it's like the worst thing you can possibly do. Yeah, because the really spoiled rich girls, yeah, they're always going to hold it against you. The fact that you're not rich, okay? They're always going to hold it against you and look down on you because of it. Yeah? They're going to think that it's some sort of moral failing on your part, that you haven't made it yet, okay? I mean, you do keep in mind, when you go through a career and a business, you usually start making the really, really big money after the age of 40, after the age of 50, quite frankly, okay? Because you are building up your career or, or more properly your business in order to get the big payout when you're older. That's what usually happens, okay? But see these spoiled rich girls, right? They had their daddy's money or their grandparents' money behind them. And so they assume that if you have money, you should have it when you're her age. And of course, that's not the case. You gotta earn the fucking money, right? Uh, a, a spoiled rotten girl, She's not going to understand that. She's going to look down on you because you're not as rich as her. Mm -hmm. And she's just going to... Uh, you, as a man, will hate the fact of being with a woman who looks down on you. Especially for something that you have no control over because of a factor of age. Because you're too young to have made it, right? I mean, who wants to be with a woman who looks down on you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seriously? But see, even the well-adjusted girls, even the girls whose parents were, were very good and very diligent about, you know, keeping them not spoiled, right? Keeping them, uh, making them understand that the money that they had was not really because of them and that they had to be humble and, and, and kind to other people. Even those girls are going to always be looking down on you a little bit unless unless you make friends with the old man. Yeah, because see, all of these rich girls, whether they admit it or not, they recognize that the money they have is because of their dad, of their father, right? In some cases, of course, it might be the grandparents, but usually it's the father. The father has a great deal of money, and so whether they admit it or not, every man that they come across, they are comparing that man, or that young man, to their father. Mm -hmm. Rich girls are the ultimate daddy's girl because whether they admit it or not, and a lot of times they deny it vehemently, but they know in their bones that their social position, the fact that people defer to them and treat them nicely, it all springs from the fact that their old man, their dad, is a rich guy. They know it in their bones. Sometimes they resent that, sometimes they deny it, they fight against it, but they know. Mm -hmm. The old man is the reason that they have that position. And therefore, they compare every potential mate, every potential boyfriend, every potential one-night stand, every guy that they come across, they compare that boy, that guy, potentially you, to their old man. No exception. And so what you want to do, I mean, if you're actually dating like a rich girl who's well-adjusted and who's like a decent human being, well, what you have to do is you've got to meet the old man and charm the shit out of him. Oh, yeah. You charm the old man and get him to like you, get him to be on board with you. You got it made, okay? I mean, if, if you're like a hard-working guy and you got some small business, say, and you start dating some girl and she's a rich girl, right? You want to make sure that you meet the old man and you tell the old man, well, this is what I'm doing. This is my business and this is how I'm doing it and this is how much money I'm making or you don't have to be precise, but you get my drift, right? You got to impress the old man. You got to make the old man think that you're aces. And the old man thinks that you're aces, his daughter, the rich girl, is going to think that you're aces. Oh, that's how it works. Of course, it can go the opposite way, too. Yeah, there are these uh, rich girls who hate their parents, who resent the fact that everybody pays attention to them because of their parents' wealth or their dad's wealth, right? And so these rich girls are the ones who wind up dating horrifying characters. I mean, real douchebags, right? 
Yeah, and, and they might, you know, start dating you, start fucking your brains out, right? Thinking that you're going to be a douchebag that the parents, or the daddy especially, is going to hate and resent, right? You show up to the old man and, and the old man likes you, she's going to drop you like a hot rock. Absolutely. Yeah, because she doesn't want a guy, you know, who uh, uh, the, the old man likes. No, she wants a guy who the old man is going to hate because of this resentment, because of the daddy issues, you see? Yeah, the girl who is resentful of the old man, yeah, she's not going to want a guy who the old man thinks is great. She's going to want a biker, you know, convict loser who can't, you know, rub together two cents, right? She wants that guy. Yeah, she wants the nightmare guy. Yeah, because she's in her heart trying to find that thing that her parents, her old man, is going to hate the most. Because it's just resentment. And that's the way of human nature, right? I mean, lots of novels have been written about the situation. I mean, it, it, this is not new or novel, okay? This is how it is. And people don't change. Yeah, people don't change and rich girls don't change. I mean, you go to any country, any continent on this earth, you know, they can be Asian, African, Middle Eastern, European, anything, Martian, for crying out loud. If they're human and they're a rich girl, they're going to have this dynamic. And they're actually kind of predictable. Well, no, they're exceedingly predictable, right? Uh, how do I know this shit? Because back in the day, I dated lots of rich girls. I dated lots of rich girls and I knew that whole scene. Okay, and rich girls, they are complicated. And the bottom line thing is that, see, if you don't measure up, hmm, if you don't measure up to her expectations, if you do not equal or surpass her old man, right, she's gonna leave you. Rich girls will leave a guy quicker than normal girls. Yeah, because they have a lower tolerance for difficulties, quite simply, you know? They, they have a lower tolerance when things get rough, right? When, for instance, you know, your business is not going so well, maybe your career is not going so well, and it's really a struggle for whatever reason, right? She'll leave you then, okay? I mean, you gotta understand that. And it's not because they're a bad person, okay? It's because they, grow, they grew up knowing that they could get whatever they wanted. They could get whatever they wanted. They could always get the best of what they wanted, okay? Not second best, not, not like, uh, 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 no, it's always gonna be the best. And so she's gonna look at you as the best possible guy that she can get. And if you start you know, failing a little bit in your career, your business, you go through a rough patch, she will leave you. Well, that's a fact. Notice, I'm not saying this to put rich girls down, okay? I mean, like a lot of people think that rich girls are all bitches. They're not. Okay, I've known a lot. I am related to a lot. Okay, I know a lot of very rich girls or girls who come from rich families. There are many of them, lovely people. Mm -hmm. Lovely people and many of them are exceptionally generous and exceptionally kind and precisely because they are aware of how fortunate they are, they go out of their way to be not people pleasers but they go out of their way to help others, especially the people in their immediate circle. Mm -hmm. And if one of their girlfriends, for instance, is going through a rough time, I know of rich girls who made it a point to slip them some money on the, on the down low and not make a to-do about it to help them out of their difficult financial situation, okay? I know that for a fact. But I also know for a fact that a rich girl is not going to tolerate a boyfriend or a husband, a mate or a potential mate, who starts to go down in so far as money or business is concerned. She's just not gonna put up with it. Huh? And some will, yeah, there's always the exception. I mean, there's an exception in everything, right? But for the most part, you know, they see or they sense that a guy is going down, that the guy's fortunes are deteriorating for whatever reason. It could be that the guy is just, you know, being an idiot or it could be genuine bad luck, okay? It could be either extreme. But if the guy, if she senses that the guy's fortunes are starting to go down, She'll leave him. Hmm? She'll leave you. No matter how many kids, no matter how many years, that's a fact. Now, if you think that this sort of like applies to every girl in the West at this point, that every girl seems to act like a rich girl, well, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like most girls in the West, they're treated by the society overall as if they were rich girls. You know? They might not have a daddy who's rich, who's well off, but they're treated the same way. Okay, and, and this is something that I've noticed over the past like 20 years. Yeah, in the, in the past past, like, I don't know, before 1990, mm -hmm. when I was growing up, I mean, back in 1990, I was, what, uh, 22 years old. Then and before, you know, there were rich girls and there were not so rich girls, middle class girls, and there were poor girls. And, you know, the, the poor girls and the middle class girls and even the upper middle class girls, they didn't act all entitled and bitchy the way rich girls would consistently, right? Now it's like all the girls out there, no matter how low, no matter how ugly and fat, right? No matter how, like, ick they are on a physical and moral level and a personal level, right? They all act like rich girls. I guess it's just the state of the society. What do you want me to say? Yeah, but basically all girls nowadays seem to be acting like rich girls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's a little bit of a facade. The really rich girl, you got to keep your eye out for her. You got to watch yourself with her. And you want to get mixed up with her, she had better have a lot of goddamn good qualities inherently in her before you mess with her. Uh, uh, Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sound like an asshole when I say this, but you know, I come from a well-off background, right? I know rich girls, and to tell you the truth, as a man, I think it's smarter to go with a girl who's got a lot of good qualities and look, is attractive and all the rest of it, but from a you know, middle class or even lower middle class background than to go with an upper middle class or, or rich girl background. Yeah, honestly. I think it's better because uh, uh, a middle class girl or a lower middle class girl, she is going to be more grateful and more resilient. Mm -hmm. More grateful for what she's got and more resilient when some of it gets taken away. A rich girl will not. So anyway, these are my thoughts on rich girls. Huh? Tell me what you think. Put a comment below. And please, I can't say, I can't believe that I'm doing this. I, I thought I'd never have to do this, but I'm having to do it. If you like this video, share it because fucking YouTube is not sharing it at all. Take it easy.